And welcome back here at the APP World Tour. Today we're joined with a very special guest and a good friend. It's our social media manager from the APP World Tour, Holly. Hi, Drew. Yeah, so excited to be here. Hey, I'm so excited about this because uh, I'm a huge advocate for mental health. I think it's one of the major issues facing the countries these days. And I thought this was so perfect, especially coming out of COVID. And the show Balance now, that's what you're focusing on. So why don't you give us an overview of, of what we're going to discuss today? So we're looking at balance in every respect. We're looking at mental health balance, we're looking at physical balance, and we're looking at the, the balance of the environment and the climate as well. So just really having an overall balanced lifestyle. Well, everybody knows water is healing. I love that because you always feel better when you get out of the water, you're in the water. So this is so imperative. So where should we start here, Hall? Let's start with Dr. Jay Wallace, who wrote a, a book called Blue Mind. And his book is all about the science um, behind uh, what happens to people when they're near, in, or underwater. Blue Mind is just a, um, a phrase that refers to the mildly meditative um, emotional health benefits of being near, in, on, or underwater. And um, it is triggered by water itself in all of its forms. So oceans, lakes, rivers, but also um, domestic water. So your, your, your tub, your pool, your spa, your shower, uh, but also urban water. So your um, fountains and um, you know, public water, water spaces and urban waterfronts, uh, but also virtual water. And by virtual water, I mean um, photography and art, but also music and film, uh, paintings and audio recordings and your favorite singer singing about their love of the ocean or um, photographs you took um, of yourself on a stand-up battle board. Uh, not a new idea. It's actually one of the oldest ideas in human history. And every, every cultural tradition, every um, spiritual tradition, every sacred text, uh, they all refer to this in one way or another. And what inspired you to get into this um, research? Are you like a, a huge water lover? Yeah, so two, two big things. One, as a kid, uh, there was no place I wanted to be other than underwater or in the water or near the water. Um, I stuttered or stammered um, badly and I was called shy, but now we call people like that introverts. So I was much more comfortable underwater because uh, nobody talks to you <laughs> underwater. And I, and I always remembered how, you know, important the emotional connection with water was to me and I started noticing that I definitely wasn't alone and we're speaking about it I think you can relate entirely and probably everybody listening to this conversation uh, will relate as well what actually happens to the brain like the physiological response of the body and the brain when you're on in or near water yeah, so it's it's a it's complex, of course. It's all of our senses. It's our entire body. It's our whole nervous system that responds to water. And so let's um, most, the best way to understand blue mind is to start with red mind. And red mind is our new normal. Red mind is our screen filled lifestyle. Red mind is information rich. Um, uh, I mean, over, overwhelmed sometimes. Um, there's more information coming into our, our minds now per day than you know our ancestors experienced per year. But if it's all you have, uh, if it's all you do, you will burn out. Too much red mind leads to gray mind, uh, which is burnout. Blue mind is the third mode that is more favorable uh, you can't really stay in blue mind all the time. I guess it's just hitting the reset button. So when you start thinking about the water, um, and so your body starts to react already. So you start to anticipate it, you start feeling good. Uh, when you get to the water, 
Visually, it's a simplification. You get that bandwidth back. Auditorily, the same thing. The sound of the water, maybe it's the waves. If you're on a river, it's the sound of the river or just the splashing of your board or your, your boat or your feet in the water. That's a simplification auditorily. So you get that bandwidth back. But when you get that bandwidth back, that allows us that we move into that blue mind state, um, which is uh, marked by slower breathing, slower heart rate. Um, physiologically, you see a decrease in stress hormones. But I, you know, and it, it, it you will not be disappointed. I mean, if you go to the water and you get on it, you get in it, splash around, it's gonna be a good day. Mm -hmm. And it's not magic. And it's not a silver bullet solution, but it's it's good. It's good stuff. And thank you so much, Holly, for bringing Dr. J on the show. Very enlightening stuff. And I'm sure you're going to be following up with more on social media. So make sure to follow all of our social media channels. Well, there it is, Holly. Follow her on social media. If you have anything or any stories that you might want to think that would be a good fit for our new show, Balance, just send us a DM. And we'd like to investigate it and see if we could bring those stories to light because ladies and gentlemen mental and physical well-being is so important and i'll tell you what it's it's just great to hear these great stories from these great individuals doing amazing things so that's going to do it for our new show balance episode one that's a wrap